The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the, but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents what occurs if trump declines to concede the u.s election now that biden has won Donald Trump incorrectly stated triumph on the night of the election and promised to go to the Supreme Court to stop vote counting, validating some Americans' worst fears that he would weaken the Democratic procedure. Now Joe Biden has won the U.S. election, what takes place if the president refuses to leave the White House? This isn't the very first time the concern has actually become one of national value, each time the president has actually suggested he will only accept the results of an election if they were in his favor, Media outlets have checked out the constitutional limitations he would face in challenging his dismissal from the Oval Office. Previous Vice President Joe Biden has actually prepared his own army of lawyers and constitutional law specialists to counter the president's legal challenges on everything from broad and mail-in voting during the coronavirus pandemic to declared instances of citizen fraud, which Mr. Trump has claimed without evidence. Mr. Biden has firmly insisted federal officials will escort Mr. Trump, from the White House with great dispatch if he loses the election. The Democrat took the lead over Mr. Trump in the battlefield states of Pennsylvania and Nevada for the very first time on Saturday, winning the White House. Three days after polls closed, Biden has a 290-214 lead in the state-by-state -state electoral college vote that determines the winner, according to the majority of significant TV networks. What's maybe most worrying about the president's evident hazards not to yield in the election is how the nation does not have precedent for dealing with such a circumstance. The peaceful shift of power is a bedrock of American society, and in past examples of contentious elections, resolutions had been made long prior to any rejection to yield. On previous celebrations in the history of the United States, when the presidency was in any method contested, cooler heads have actually dominated in the interest of the tranquil transfer of power. Richard Nixon conceded to John F. Kennedy in 1960 amid numerous allegations of vote rigging for the Democrat, for example. Vice President Al Gore accepted the Supreme Court's ruling that George Bush had won the 2000 presidential election although there were considerable questions about the integrity of the lead to Florida. Paul Quirk, a professor of political science at the University of British Columbia, previously told The Independent it would put law enforcement in an awkward position. At some point, the question would become, whose orders do police follow? due to the fact that it would eventually end up being a matter of making use of force in one instructions or another. The U.S. Constitution makes no reference of how a president should be eliminated if they lose an election and refuse to hand over power to their challenger. So, it is difficult to say if anybody would have the cravings to send the FBI, or Navy SEALs, or whatever law enforcement agency, storming into the West Wing to apprehend a just recently beat Donald Trump. Find out more, how many United States presidents have lost out on a second term. Joshua Sandman, a teacher of political science at the University of New Haven, stated he did not believe Mr. Trump would ever decline to leave workplace after an election due to the fact that it would damage the president's legacy. Still, he recommended extreme congressional and political pressure would force Mr. Trump out of workplace rapidly. The first line of defense would be the Congress, and his party pressing him out, informing him he should resign or leave, Mr. Sandman states. If he wants to stay in the White House, he would remain in the White House. But, once again, hypothetically you do not require that. The White House is symbolic. It's not a seat of power, necessarily. He adds, all of these are, it's sort of a work of sci-fi. It's all hypothetical. In an interview with The Independent in 2019, Ross Baker, an American political specialist at Rutgers University in New Jersey, made a cooling prediction of what would happen if Mr. Trump lost re-election by a very narrow margin. He envisioned a circumstance where the popular vote was won by less than 1% across the country, and where there was a near incorporate the Electoral College. On November 4, 2020, America might awaken to tweets from the president calling the previous day's results a fraud, and stating there is no way he did not win by substantial margins. On the other hand, Fox News would be welcoming pundit after pundit towing that presidential line. 
Should that occur, Mr. Baker stated he thought of a situation in which the House of Representatives got to decide the Electoral College based upon each state's delegation. It would certainly be a constitutional crisis to the very first magnitude, Mr. Baker he said.